Well, art doesn't uh, prevent anything in the short term. Art is a long-term fight or a long-term enlightenment. So it's not like uh, an antibiotic, you keep it and then you get uh, well, the society doesn't work like this. I think there is a beautiful quote of Alfredo Jar here on the wall. Now it's the time of monsters. I don't know why it is happening, but it is happening because there is a struggle between the old order no, but the, and the new order. I think something is dying. Well, I don't know what's my homeland. Homeland is Egypt, homeland is uh, France, homeland is, is America. I have three homelands. None of them really 100% accepts me in a way because when I'm in Egypt or even in the Middle East, sometimes I don't fit in. France, forget it, I'm not a French artist. I grew up there, eh? was denied citizenship three times. And then uh, American gave me a citizenship and I feel at home in, in New York with all of the many races that are mixing together peacefully. So I don't know what's homeland for me. I don't want to be labeled Middle Eastern, I want to be labeled uh, as Muslim, I don't want to be labeled uh, even as woman. If they want to label me, label me as a white male a British artist. But after Brexit, now to be on uh, the white male uh, German artist. Three. Don't. Don't come right now. I actually would consider stay and work in the Middle East. I think the future is going to be in the Middle East and in Africa, in all of the emerging. If it continues like this year, it's the future, I'm telling you. I'm not going to stay here if this continues or if it uh, uh, worsens. Now it's fine because it doesn't feel really America in a way, apart from Staten Island, which I'm not going to go. Staten Island, they voted 57% Trump. <laughs>